yo, bro, all for the all for the title is like, all for the title, bro. That's the reason I could, like, in the library. Hey, you go crazy. Okay, I, so tell us let about. Let me see uh, this, bro. Obviously, you you you're from Chicago. No, I'm from uh, the South Suburbs, Phoenix. Oh. Okay. Nine Block, baby. Mm. Harvey. Yeah. Now Harvey, Phoenix. Nine Block. It's a difference. Phoenix, yeah, it's a difference. Okay. Yeah, like. <laughs> nah, you bro. Phoenix, hard Phoenix, as hell. Nine blocks, yeah. In the eighth grade oh, in the library. Nine, you know, warrior killers, y'all know. <laughs> nah, nine blocks. We literally got nine blocks though. That's the stat. You know, so, so what you want to Thornton or something? Oh hell yeah, for sure. I want the Thornton, yeah. yeah. Okay. So tell us what it was like, you know, your upbringing um, in the south suburbs of Chicago. It was lit. It was great. I loved it. Shit. It was fun. I had a great time as a kid, you know. <laughs> High school was great. It was lit and shit. I went to college and shit like that. It was a great time. I had a nice little life, you know. But um, of course, we was poor. We was poor as hell. But I didn't know that as a kid. You don't know you be poor. You just be poor and not knowing for real. Like I knew yeah. I was poor. I did because other kids and shit. But at the same time, I just didn't give a fuck, honestly. Okay. Cause shit, what I'm gonna do to not be poor? That's gotta. That's honestly what kind of made me started fucking with like niggas and shit like that. I was like, man, we too poor, man. This little cat gotta get sold or something. Really? Like, I'm too... Bro, I'm what? Lady. I'm a woman, you know. I can't never just be around here broke and not have nothing or nothing, you know. So I always made sure when I did, like, fuck with a nigga or whatever, he had something for me and my family, like my people too. Like, he made sure... Yeah, what? He was taking care of me. Oh, what? You know, so I always made sure when I did, like, fuck with a nigga or whatever, he had something for me and my family, like my people too. Like he made sure he was taking care of business, type shit. Mm -hmm. Everything was getting taken care of. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, damn. Can you tell us at what age did you lose your virginity? Oh, what age? What age is like? I don't know the age, but I do know the grade. It was eighth grade, like going eighth to high grade. It's crazy, going bro. Into high school, mm -hmm. like right there, like mm -hmm. that's when I officially lost my virginity. Okay. I've been trying. I was trying to do this shit for so long with my boyfriend at the time. I was like in a, I was always like an in love ass female with my little nigga at the time and shit. And we was trying to have sex, and I just, I just couldn't do it. Like I, it was, I was too scared. I don't know. I just didn't. It couldn't go inside. I was just scared. It wouldn't go in. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what the. Fuck. So I'm just like, you know, shit. I ain't. I was like, man. So the summer came. I. I was like, I'm gonna do this because I really like him and I'm gonna do it. But I was by this time, I was already sucking though. I was sucking though. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. But I was by this time, I was already sucking though. I was sucking already by this time because I'm like. So when did you start sucking dick? DJ, you go crazy! In eighth grade, like okay. November of eighth grade. I remember because my birthday is November. Bro, what? She okay. takes pride in this, bro. So tell us about your first experience. <laughs> like, like you, you see the smile on her face, bro? She takes pride. She, bro, she takes pride in that, bro. Um, <laughs> That's a little embarrassing. That's wild as hell. But uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be the truth. I was sucking dick in the library. At the school? No, not the school. At, okay. at, just at a public little library, like in a dip-off somewhere. And uh, I was sucking that boy Oh, that was my man. I loved him at the time. So right. Loved him at the time. Right. But, um, yeah, that's what, the same dude I had sex with, too. That was my what, first what, what did he say to you oh, that brother. leads you to? You got these questions. <laughs> like, you got these questions. You crazy. You know what? Bro, you know? what, bro? So what he said? Did you have any books under your knees? or? Yo, <laughs> yo. Oh, so what happened? Um, Bugs under the knees is crazy, yeah, bro. The bathroom of, uh, the, of, the, of the bath, the bathroom of the library and shit like that. <laughs> it was a downstairs area, and like nobody was close to that bathroom downstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say the library. I'm gonna just leave that. It's in the south suburbs, so y'all know, you know. If my class, if my class 2016, y'all know what I'm talking about. All that, shit. but anyway, um, we went to the downstairs area. Went to the little dip off as a bathroom. Nobody used to go down there, and you had to get a key. To use that bathroom. Right, right. So he'll go get the key. Well, tell me, go get the key. I'll go to the girl's bathroom. Woo woo. he come in that bitch. Like, you know, put a little knock on that bitch. Ah. Come in, we go to the big handicap stall on that bitch. <laughs> yo, yo, she, she, she has a little bit too much pride, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I ain't gonna lie, bro. She has a little bit too much pride in this, bro. What the fuck? 
Not the oh. handicap oh. style. <laughs>